Hello everyone. The purpose of this video is to give a demo on how to use super decision software to compute priorities using analytic hierarchy process or AHP. Now, in order to give this demo, I need to adopt uh, an example, which is something like this, that um, after graduation, let's suppose that uh, one person has taken a number of interviews and he's lucky enough to get multiple offers. He has been offered from, let's say three companies, secure jobs. Now, um, uh, his decision-making problem is to select the company, the best company where he's going to join. Now, in order to select this best company, he has to come up with a number of criteria. And let's say that uh, he has decided six criteria. So I'd like to show using a PowerPoint slide, the HP hierarchy. So this is the HP hierarchy um, that uh, the first, the level is selection of the best job. And the six criteria are salary, research, growth, working environment, location, reputation. And these are the three companies. So we will be using super decision software to compute priorities of the criteria. And then the local priorities of the alternatives with respect to one criterion at a time. And finally, so to synthesize all the weights to find out, to determine the global weights or the overall weights of these three jobs or the three alternatives. So let's go ahead with using super decision software to compute the priorities. So here is the blank screen. So at first we have to create the hierarchy. So let's go ahead, file, new. Now the software is asking to provide the file name first. So I will provide the name, let's say job selection. Job selection and maybe I can save on desktop. Then click save. Now, there are a couple of options here. Please choose a template for your new model. So we'd like to choose the simple network. Double click, okay. And now we can go ahead with creating the hierarchy. Design cluster, new. So the first one will be goal and description could be selection of the best job. Create another criteria. Selection, uh, the criteria for selection of the best job. Criteria for selection of the best job. And third and final cluster could be alternatives. These alternatives, as I explained, secured jobs. So there are three alternatives, secured, three secured jobs. Now click save. Now we can reposition this cluster like something like this. By default, the background color comes as white. We can change to the color we like. So let's change here the first one, right click, edit cluster, and uh, we click change color. And let's say we, uh, we, we take red, then click okay, then save. Then the red appears here as a background. Then right click, 
edit cluster, change color, let's say green. Okay, save. Right click, edit cluster, change color, let's say this color. Okay, save. So we have changed the background colors. After this, we need to add nodes. So let's say a goal. For goal, we click design node new. So we click goal, okay. And again, we can use goal, then save. So the node is also a goal. It is possible to have the same name, goal, and this is also goal. Now, criteria, design, node, new, criteria, there are six nodes. First one is salary. Click uh, create another. Number two, recess. Number three, Number three, growth. Number four, working environment, but I will be using shortcut WE. Create another. Number five, location. Create another. Reputation. Reputation. Now, Please note that uh, here I have used the sequence, the serial number one, two, three, four, five, six, because if we don't use these numbers, then software will put it alphabetically. But I don't want that alphabetical. I want to keep number one is salary, number two is research. That's why I have used the serial number. Then click save. Now we need to reposition these nodes. Let's say reputation here, location I place here, working environment here, growth here, research here, and salary here. Okay. Now we have to add the three alternatives design, node, new, alternatives, A job A or company A, create another, B and C and click save. So we reposition C, B, A. So now we have completed the creation of the clusters and the nodes. Now we have to connect. How to connect? We need to go to design, node connections form, but before that we have to click node first. Node, design, node connection form, then salary, research, growth, working environment, location, reputation. Then click OK. Now there is only one arrow appears here. Now we can see that goal is connected with all these six criteria by clicking this star symbol and bring the cursor here. And then we see that all are highlighted. That means this goal is connected with the six criteria. Now, after this, we need to connect salary uh, with ABC, research with ABC and so on. It's the same process. So you have to click salary, then design node connection form, then the three alternatives, A, B, C, okay. Then research, node connection form, A, B, C, okay. Growth, node connection form, A, B, C, okay. Working environment, node connection form, A, B, C, okay. Location, node connection form, A, B, C, okay. Reputation, node connection form, A, B, C, okay. 
Now, again, we can check whether connections have been properly done, salary done, research done, growth done, working environment done, location done, reputation done. And after this, we need to go for pairwise comparison to form the pairwise comparison matrices. The first of all, we need to go for construction of pairwise comparison matrix for the criteria. So we click OK, yes, goal, goal, then assess compare this uh, option, then pairwise comparisons. Now it has a number of options here. We prefer questionnaire mode because this is easy and fast. So now we will be going to uh, form the pairwise comparison matrix for criteria. Let's say salary and research. Salary and research are equally important. So one, salary growth, also equally important. Then salary four times. Then one, then one over two. That means reputation is more important. Now research, research and um, growth, research and growth two, four, one, one over two. Then growth, five, three, one over two. Five, three, one over two. One third, one third. One third, one third, and then equally important. Now, uh, I'd like to draw your attention here that these are the weights of the six criteria already computed, automatically it appears here. Now, another important point is that inconsist inconsistency, we call consistency ratio, CR values. And according to Thomas Sati, the CR value should be uh, less than 0.1. It is indeed already less than 0.1, but if it is more than 0.1, then we have to revise. The question is how to revise? We have one way here. So we click matrix and delete, then click inconsistency. And there are two options. We can click inconsistency report. So it will give us the whole list of options to improve the inconsistency. Let's take the first one. Growth versus location at this moment, the number is three. Um, but this number should be in, shown in red color. So it is one over 1.189. So that means it, it will be 0.847. So let's go ahead, uh, growth and location. This number three should be 0.847. We bring the cursor somewhere else and we will see that the inconsistency has improved. So the in other words, consistency ratio has been improved. So this is the way to improve uh, consistency ratio. So now the saving is done automatically, so we can just close. After this, we need to compare the alternatives in the same way, pairwise fashion, with respect to one criterion at a time. So let's take for the first one, salary, then assess compare pairwise, Questionnaire mode, the, the judgments which I'll be taking here is one over four, one over half, and then three here. So these are the weights. Then we go for the second um, criterion. Uh, how to go for second criterion? There is one quick option here. We click here, this, this icon, and then we are taken here for the resets. 1 over 4, 1 over 5, and 1 over 2, done. Then third one is growth. With respect to growth, the judgments are 3, 1 over 3, 3, 1 over 3, and 1. Then working environment, 1 over 3, 5, and 7. Then location, location 177, 177, 
seven. And finally, with respect to number seven, nine, five. Seven, nine, five. Now, please note that here the inconsistency is more than 0 0.1. So we need to revise some judgment. So matrix, click matrix, incons inconsistency, then report. Then the first one shows the value of nine should be 35, but actually according to HP scale one to nine, nine is the highest value, so we cannot go more than nine. Now we go for second one, A to B, A versus B, the current value is seven, actually it should be 1.8, or we can put even two. So A versus B, we can put two. The seven should be changed to two. Now when we change to two, then we see that the ratio has drastically improved. So this is, this is the way to improve consistency ratio. So click OK, the saving is done automatically. Now all the uh, comparisons are made and the local priorities are also compute. Now the, the task remains is to compute the global priorities for the alternatives. That means we need to make synthesis. So assess no, computation, synthesize the whole model. That is the right option, synthesize the whole model. So the moment we click synthesize, then the result will be there. So this, this is the result that um, the overall priority of company A is 0 0.3485640, for B 0.400756, for C 0.250704. That means the best alternative is B. Um, now, after this, uh, this is done. Actually, we have computed the global priorities of the alternatives. Now, since there's an alternative, there is a question of um, um, sensitivity analysis. So I will show you in a, another separate video how to perform sensitivity analysis. And also there is one another issue is that uh, if we have sub criteria for certain criterion, then how to go ahead with that? So I will be having another video where the hierarchy will be having uh, the some criteria will be have, some criterion will be having sub criteria. So that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching.